Hello, glorious, weird, concrete, double, spilling way, spilling way, spilling way, spilling way. I'm not really sure what's happening right there. How the hell are you today? My name is Josh. It's nice to finally meet you. This is another spot on the uh, tour trip, Kansas tour thing that uh, I have never fished and I'm excited to. This this waterfall is more my speed. I'm, I'm used to areas like this. I'm not really sure what this little side thing is, but looks pretty good as well. And looks like a good starting point because there's a guy across the way and there's a guy fishing right there too so we're gonna have to kind of work around fish with the locals do stuff like that but yeah excited part two part dose let's do it stuff the things but pal all righty stop number two of this two hair looks pretty damn good actually the uh spot number one is not very far away it's just a big dam if you haven't watched it go watch it we we actually we did pretty good it was just right up the way and uh yeah we're gonna stop here and then we're gonna head to our cabin. I'm pretty excited to see the cabin, get to the cabin, cook at the cabin, doing at least one catch and cook. I promised myself I even upgraded my room so I could do so, because I forgot my portable grill, but yeah. Welcome to the Kansas tour if you're new. We're in Kansas. But anyway, I'm just gonna start with a blade bait. And uh, yeah, I got one catfish pole, blade bait, swim bait. That's just kind of what we're doing today. And hopefully one of the three works. And if it doesn't, we do have night crawlers. We never used night crawlers at the last spot, but we probably will here. I'm not really sure. We're just going with the flow. So uh, yeah, come along with me. Let's uh, hop on this damn thing and see if we can catch a damn thing and stuff. It's getting hot. I might have to take off my ha 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 sweatshirt. It's only 61, but it feels like 82. Poo poo and stuff. Should I fish from up here? No, I'm gonna fish down here at first. Poles are tangled. Ba -boo. I just walked like 12 feet with all my stuff just to stop again. I swear I'll quit singing. All right, blade bait was the real winner at spot number one. So I feel like we'd be doing a disservice to the blade bait if we didn't use it first. And honestly, probably a disservice to ourselves. It's just a just a fish catching sob. If I had to make a tier list of the most fish catching SOBs out there. It'd be a jig head night crawler and a blade bait. Let's climb up here, see if we can get that out. If we can't, I have one billion blade baits. But considering we can walk this way and that way, I think we should be able to get it out. Up. Oh. Drum bud. I can't tell if the local had a sun in his eyes or if he just wasn't excited to see me, but I don't really care. I caught a drum fish. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'd like to say he hammered it, but he just kind of mushed it. Let's go get our stuff. Somebody else is walking down, so let's at least get a spot on the big river and wor worry about the rest from there seems like the best plan popular spot popular how you doing good nice did you nice hell yeah man good work yeah first, first, first fish today since i moved back <laughs> first fish what first fish today since i moved back got it back saturday Nice. I've never fished here before. It looks pretty cool though. Really? Blues? Everything. Really? Yeah. I'll try to stay out of your way, man. Oh, you good, bro. Cool. How you doing? I watch your channel, man. No What's shit. Up, bro? How you doing? Doing pretty good. Man, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. I saw you from the back. I was like, I know that guy. Really? That's yeah. funny. Wow. That's crazy. You're in Nebraska, right? Yep. Yeah, I got yeah. friends up there, man. Nice, nice to meet you, fellas. I was watching your shit on uh, you guys got the uh, viper fishing. Yeah. Yeah. He's got the glorious spilling weight line. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. That's my guy. Here. This song bitch is glorious right here. Yeah. I've never seen nothing like this. Oh, bro, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Drove. I'll be, bro, I'll be in car. I'll be like, bro, you gotta watch this dude, bro. He's like fishing on people like every Yeah, he's the channel, man. I watch the channel all the time. That's super cool, fellas. What's your name? The card. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. All right, met some stash drivers. 
they caught some chad they're gonna give me some old bud caught a uh got him so bad with names i think one of them mike i don't know appreciate you guys watching appreciate you guys helping if you see this video but uh yeah i'm gonna go get my bucket put some chads in it we got some chads for the rest of the trip boys and girls we got some chads just gotta walk back to the truck and stuff testing testing boo do we got a light in here a little bit better we got boo and we got ourselves a new mattress thing here's my showgirl is showgirl the right word anyway a few videos back i was talking about a uh, sponsored video that i had coming up and uh yeah this is it boo and i have been in uh need of a new mattress and fun little fact if you guys didn't know this i actually actually sold mattresses for like seven years boo did too so we should be pretty good judges of the product good critics. yeah we'll be good critics it'll be an update down the road but yeah we're gonna cut this baby open back when i sold mattresses we didn't really have these mattresses that came in a box and blew up but i think it's kind of a cool idea it comes right to your front door and we're excited to try it oh we're halfway there whoa sleeping on a bear see what i did there boo <laughs> Woo! Alrighty, boys and girls, let's hit you with some specs. Bear mattresses are designed to upgrade your sleep, improve your lifestyle, and overall quality of life. And it's conveniently shipped to your front door. Not promise anything, but there's a slight chance it will improve your fishing abilities. Mo sleep equals mo fish. Everybody has different sleeping preferences. To help find your forever mattress, Bear has a sleep quiz that removes all the guesswork. I personally am a stomach sleeper, Boo is a side sleeper, and both of us like it firm. Don't take that the wrong way. Luckily, we were matched with the Firm Elite Hybrid after taking the first quiz that I've taken in 15 years. It actually wasn't that rough. Boo and I are excited to try this bad boy out and we'll provide updates in future videos about the results. Each mattress comes equipped with a 120 night sleep trial, lifetime warranty, free shipping, financing options available, and is made in the good old US of A. Huge shout out to Bear Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring this leg of Zay Tour. Be sure to visit bearmattress.com slash pigpatroltv and receive 25% off with discount code pigpatroltv. Now, back to Zay Tour and stuff. You can't see me at all. Probably put it, should have put it in the other direction, but oh well. Good morning, you dirty old stash stains. It is me, and uh, yeah, I did do some fishing last night. It didn't necessarily go the greatest, but it didn't necessarily go the worst. I did catch some white bass, I caught a couple crappie. I did a terrible job at recording it because there's a few other people on the dock. I ended up just talking to them. I didn't work my hardest as far as work goes, but yeah, we're back. Still didn't eat, keep and catch, catch and keep and cook. Sorry, it's early. It's like, did I say this already? 5.15? It's 5.15 in the morning. It's about two hours till the sun comes up. So yeah, I didn't really eat, catch and cook anything last night. Really wish I would have because all I ate was beef jerky and trail mix, but it's kind of amazing what beef jerky and trail mix can do for you. It does a lot, but it wasn't a warm, warm meal. And we got our cabin until 11 a.m. And even though it's five right now, that doesn't seem like enough time, but yeah. We're gonna try to actually throw out the catfish poles. I didn't throw out the catfish poles. I actually did catch a catfish on a crappie jig, but it wasn't very big, but catfish poles. I'm gonna rip a lipless for walleyes. I do have panoptics. We're gonna try to catch some crappies eventually and we gotta try to get out of here by 8.39 so we can go back and cook. Catch and cook. I apologize, I didn't do a good job recording last night. Excited to be here. Saw some giant walleyes get caught last night. And yeah, good morning. Hope you're doing well. I'm excited. Let's go and stuff. All righty. I'm gonna use panty first because at some point I need to go up and put her on the charger and fish blindly or put her on the charger when I'm cooking, but I have nothing to cook. There is some fish around, which isn't really a surprise. Those are all fish, so we're going to try to catch them. Got my bucket down here all ready to go. That was also part of the problem. I didn't bring my bucket down. And yeah, a little crappie jig with a piece of chad on it. 
Honestly, at this point, I can't be picky with what we what we catch and cook. I prefer crappies or walleyes, but it's not always how it works out. That's not always how it works out. <laughs> Yeah, I'll let you know how it goes and stuff. Boys and girls, I'm a buffoon. Not only did I miss our only catfish bite we've gotten in two days, but I also literally just missed the second catch of this video because my camera was off. I got like a 13 inch crappie. I'll show them to you in a second, but we are not gonna starve. Man, I said so many funny things when my camera was off. Caught a fish. Damn amateur, yo. Damn amateur. Um, but I was just crying about my catfish bite, so I guess it wasn't that important. You know, I was saying I'm happy we have food. The end. That's the summary. I'll let you know when we catch another. And stuff. Over the pillar. I saw him on Panoptics. I don't know how I'm gonna get him in, but <laughs> we'll worry about that when we, well, I guess we've came to it. But what's the old thing? Worry about how to get it in once you get it hooked. That's kind of uh, what we got going on here. <laughs> Not nearly as big as the first one. But after how this is gone, we will take it. We will take it. Crappie number two and maybe a bait crappie. Let me show you the first one though, he's meaty. Hell yeah. Food. I guess I'll attempt to show you what I got going on with my jig. Little piece of chad, little jig head. Little shad looking plastic. Damn near at the surface, honestly. So pain optics wasn't even really picking them up. Damn fish finders, boys and girls. Who needs that trash? Who needs that trash? We do most of the time, especially ice fishing, but it ain't helping today. Pole's going too far in the water to pick these boogers up. Going too far in the water. I think we're good though. Six fillets. That should be plenty. Maybe we'll keep one more big one. Need to bulk up for the rest of the day. <clears throat> all right. That was fun and all, but we're gonna do something different. Sun's coming up. I think I'm gonna throw a bass jig a little bit. I know, weird. And then, um, sorry crappie, that was a little rough. I'm gonna throw that catfish pull out farther, leave it in the same spot. Then I'm gonna rip a lipless and see if I can get a walleye. Nope. Got something big. Stuck in something though. On the lipless. First like 10 feet. Oh bud. It's grinding. I don't think we're gonna get this fish in, but I really hope we do. <clears throat> I really hope we do. I don't know which direction to go. He's still on. I think we're free. We are free and it's a walleye. Nice. That was quick. That was absolutely quick. <clears throat> nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Didn't get it good, but that was intense. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, I thought we were going to lose that one. About got hookered. And 
he's unhooked. Should have looked up regulations first. I'm gonna look up regulations on him. Alrighty, boys and girls. There's a more desirable thing. He's not very big, and uh, I found out that you can only keep two over 21. He's not over 21, but he's 18 or something. Literally first like five rips on the lipless. Might have to rip this outside of the dock though so I don't get stuck in cables, but worked out this time. Worked out this time. I need to tie a new leader because it's been bad and now it's real bad, so yeah. I got both catfish poles out deeper. Hopefully we get another shot at one of those. I really, really want a big catfish before we, uh, before we go eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, all the above actually, but they're all kind of brought together into one. And yeah, catfish, lipless. I think that's what we're gonna do till nine o'clock and then go cook. Much better morning. Struggled most of the day yesterday, so. Pays to wake up early and stuff. <coughs> Got something. <coughs> Watching the birds fighting each other. I don't think it's big, but. Eh, it's either a white bass or a wiper. Actually caught a lot of these last night. Not on a lipless though. And this is probably the smallest of the ones that I've caught. Squeeze them tight. They can sense weakness. Look at his little judgmental eye. You don't squeeze me hard enough, I'm gonna hook you. Come on, kitty pole. Come on. Or wipers blowing up out there. Look at all the birds. It's gotta be chads. I think there's chads everywhere. Species number four of this video, I believe. It's been a whole day since I started it, so I don't remember, but. Drum bud, white bass, whale eye, crappy. Still not a single catfish. Maybe eventually, but whatever that is, slammed it. <laughs> Good old lippy -less. See, back home when I do the lipless thing for walleyes, there's not much big enough to eat the damn thing, so it's like you catch nothing and then randomly get a whale eye. Maybe. But the crappies are smaller. We don't got white bass. There's wipers in that lake, but I never get them with the lipless. I'd be sick if we got like a 10 pound wiper doing this. I would cry. But that's two fish in this one spot, so we're gonna stand here for a little bit. Stare at our poles and dream about what could have been. That pole in particular. Oh my god, that one's getting slammed. Slammed. <clears throat> Got him. Oh no. Oh, f I f that up big time. And, oh god. I heard my lipless getting pulled in different directions down there. <laughs> I heard it rattling. That was intense. Anyway, what could have been with the catfish poles and hopefully what could be hand stuff. I heard it again. I'm starting to think it wasn't a white bass, but it is. I heard a fish hit my lipless because I heard it rattle. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear it when I rip it, it rattles, but on the way down, every once in a while, it's like... And it's one of these tugboat Timmy's just ripping on it. Sorry for being a Debbie Downer this morning, boys and girls. Just wasn't feeling, feeling it yesterday. <clears throat> now I'm feeling it. Now I am feeling it and stuff. A little bit different bite. Still got it though. Seems smaller than the morning ones. Or bigger. Not quite sure, but we want them regardless. Oh god, that one's getting slammed. Got whatever this is. Briefly. He's also stuck in something. Definitely a kitty. Definitely not big, but that one is getting hit too. This one wasn't getting hit for a while. Come to find out, it didn't even have bait on it. So that might be why. That one just got plowed. 
We got our first blue kitty, boys and girls. Not a big one, but we got one. Should eat one of these boogers, but I already got crappie and I don't need all that much. Is that even a blue kitty? No, that is a weird blue catfish colored channel cat, I think. Mm, no, it's blue. It's anal fin just looked funny. A little bit weaker of a bite, but we got one. Looks like we got another small one biting, but that's okay. That is okay, boys and girls. We, we caught a blue catfish. Every spot for a day and a half we've thrown out Chad. And that's our first blue. <clears throat> Running low on shad, but I am gonna clean that crappie eventually. I don't know, those ones this morning could have been small, but even the small ones sometimes can just rip out line. Blues are just angry boogers, but I don't know. I think the ones earlier were, <laughs> were a little bit more substantial. <laughs> Can't be certain though. Cannot be certain. Also can't be certain that we would have even got them in even if we did hook them because there's all sorts of things and stuff out there. <clears throat> Posts, cords, what have you. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time. I'm gonna cook some food. I, uh... I'm just going to do basically the same thing I did last time, minus all the quesadilla stuff, but flour, egg wash, Andes. And I got some sweet chili sauce and some green onions, so I'm going to save you the boredom of watching me cook them, save me the boredom of editing it, and save me some time of recording me cooking things because, uh, yeah, I only got 30 minutes till I need to be out of here, so no time to waste. All right, T. Here we go. Done it before, sweet chili crappie wings. They're delicious. Most of the time I throw them in a bag and shake them up, but my big bag that I was gonna use that for turned into a bait bag. <clears throat> Get out of the way, cooler. <clears throat> Sticky little son of a gun. Like I already said, I haven't, uh, I haven't ate much lately, especially warm food. Definitely uh, ate plenty of beef jerky and trail mix last night, but that only gets you so far. This one doesn't really have a lot of sauce on it, but let's go for this boy. Hmm. Wasn't even in there that long, but it's definitely overcooked. It's definitely still hot, but it's definitely edible. A little overcooked, not crispy enough. As far as cooking goes, not the uh, best effort or best result, but it's still damn good. This adventure continues. Hopefully it goes well. It seems like during the day, it's pretty hard to uh, even buy a bite at just about anywhere that uh, I've been thus far. So wish me luck in the next leg of this adventure. I will need it, but yeah. Finally got some food. I'm gonna smash these crappies, get the hell out of here, and then on to the next one. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Appreciate you watching. Hopefully you're enjoying the first two videos of the Kansas tour, and hopefully there's at least a third, but no promises. That's just how fishing goes, and yeah, it's been kind of tough lately, so yeah. Thanks for watching. See you later. That's the thing. Bye. Okay.